hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you will create a chart like this which is showing you the kpi information along with the text all right so for that let's create a new sheet and uh, what i had taken earlier was the subcategory and uh, let's take it in the rows and i took region so i'm taking it here and uh, i need it is the sales over here or i can put it over here on text which is not the same thing now the next thing which i need is the kpi and kpi is over here so what i have done is created a calculated field which you can create it from here by clicking on create calculated field it will show you the field name and the expression that i have uh, given it over here if i come here and uh, click on sorry edit here and click on edit so kpi is the name i have given and uh, it's saying that if sum of sales is greater than twenty five thousand, now this value can be anything what you like it can be even one million if if that is the case you want and here you can specify the categories like uh, for example above and below so you can have three or four different categories which you want in this if else condition and get yourself satisfied uh, for your kpi needs so for now i'm just showing you two different conditions once my condition is done um, i'll click ok and uh, what i'm doing is dragging the kpi um, well not now because uh, i need to select the shape over here so the shape is coming over here which is not pretty good so what i'll do is i'll just click on the fit width now it's coming properly as you can see and shape is appearing over here i'll drag the kpi over here and now as you can see it is coming with the default settings which i have made now how you can change it or how i've made it default is by going over here and select it what i need from above what i need from below so for above over here I have these arrows and if I go down this is what I have chosen for above this is what I have chosen for below but you have even these arrows or you have couple of different options like bars or bug tracking KPI is like this let's say for above uh, I need green for below I need this I'll just click apply and okay and you can see that uh, i'm able to change my kpis so that's about how you can show the kpis in your chart and uh, and impress your end users so for their visual discovery so that's pretty much it i'll meet you in the new video some new topic